One year since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, allowing states to ban abortion. That issue is already heating up among 2024 presidential hopefuls. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze joins us now from Washington. And Elizabeth, Republicans already trying to appeal to anti-abortion voters. Good morning. Good morning, Wade. That's right. Some Republican presidential hopefuls are now renewing the push for a national abortion ban, saying that landmark Supreme Court decision reversing Roe v. Wade didn't go far enough. This morning, one year after the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, the political battle over abortion rights taking center stage. At the Faith and Freedom Coalition conference Friday in Washington, former Vice President Mike Pence challenging every GOP presidential hopeful to support a national ban on abortions after 15 weeks. We must not rest and must not relent until we restore the sanctity of life to the center of American law in every state in this country. And Florida Governor Ron DeSantis touting his state's strict new law that would ban abortions after just six weeks before many women know they're pregnant. It was the right thing to do. Don't let anyone tell you it wasn't. Since the Supreme Court ended the constitutional right to an abortion, 15 states have passed laws severely limiting access to reproductive care. Women in those states, like Mississippi, left with few options. There's still a lot of confusion uh, and, and fear. After mobilizing voters in the midterm elections, President Biden says reproductive rights are again at stake in 2024. Make no mistake, this election is about freedom on the ballot once again. The president signing a new largely symbolic executive order, calling on federal agencies to expand access to contraception. Are you at the end of the line here when it comes to what you can do without steps from Congress? So we don't believe this is symbolic. We believe that this is another step to do everything that we can to continue to fight for fundamental rights. The split screen on abortion rights will be on full display today. Vice President Kamala Harris is set to give a major speech in North Carolina to abortion rights advocates, while former President Trump will rally evangelical voters here in Washington tonight. Janae. All right, Elizabeth, we appreciate your reporting. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.